Course Restore. Upload your course to Moodle Cloud. It's possible to save a course you've made on one Moodle site and reuse it on a different Moodle site. When you save your course, the process is called backup. And when you add it or upload it to a different site, the process is called restore. In this video, we'll look at how you can restore the practice course you made during our Learn Moodle MOOC into your own personal Moodle Cloud site. You can also restore your course to the Moodle site of your school or organisation, but the way you do it may be different, so you need to check with your administrator. First, make sure you saved or backed up your practice course using the video on Course Backup to help you. Make sure you have it in a safe place on your computer. Our teacher Sam has her practice course on her desktop here, and she's logged into her Moodle Cloud site where she's an administrator. You may not be an administrator on your organization's Moodle site, and that's why you should ask for their advice if you want to restore your practice course there. We click Site Administration in the nav drawer, find Courses, and click Restore Course. We can then import the backup file either by clicking the button to upload it or, as our teacher Sam is doing here, dragging and dropping it in. When we click the Restore button, we're prompted to check the backup details and we scroll down and click Continue. Note how it appears we are doing in reverse what we did when we backed up the course previously. On the next screen, we decide if we want to add this as a new course or into an existing course. Again, you might experience this differently if you're restoring to your organization's Moodle site and you don't have administrator rights. If we restore it as a new course, we need to choose the category. Our teacher only has one category, miscellaneous, on her Moodle Cloud site at the moment, so she clicks that button. Clicking Continue then takes us to another screen to check the settings and we press Next again. We can move through this quickly because we've already checked the settings. We can edit the name and details of the course and decide which activities to keep. We move on again. We do a final check and then press Perform Restore. Once the process is complete, there is a green success message and Sam's practice course from Learn Moodle is now available on her Moodle Cloud site.